Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first three commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fourth, honoring your father and mother. We've talked about how God governs people by setting certain individuals in authority over others, and about the meaning and structure of the family. Now it's time to discuss one of our obligations to parents and authority figures, respect. While we've already seen some good reasons to respect our parents, there are several more, such as gratitude to parents for helping to give us life and taking care of us. Also, we should be grateful to anyone who teaches us the truth, especially truths about God, the highest truth. Even if you have a hard time feeling gratitude personally, you should still show respect, as though you didn't. Unlike obedience, which we'll discuss next week, the obligation to respect one's parents doesn't end at a certain age, and that obligation consists in a few basic things which are independent of obedience. The first is in anticipating the wishes and needs of parents. This can involve visiting or taking care of parents when they're old, helping them with difficult work when you know they want that help, whether they ask for it or not, and trying your best not to disappoint them. However, in all of these things, we need to remember that our obligation to God is still first, so you can never sin to avoid disappointing your parents, for example. The second obligation is seeking the advice of parents. Like everyone, parents love to give advice, and children, even adult children, should be willing to listen to it. Even if you have moral or practical reasons for not taking the advice of your parents, or even if you know their advice is going to be wrong, it's still a sign of respect to listen to it patiently. Finally, when a parent criticizes you for something that you did wrong, you should accept that criticism. This doesn't apply, of course, when parents criticize you for something that was right. If their judgment is just, it should be accepted, and it should only be rejected if their judgment is unjust. Apart from giving parents emotional support, moral support can be an even more important show of respect, telling them when you agree with a good moral decision they've made, and being there for them when they're sick, lonely, or in danger. However, even though we should respect parents in all of these ways, we should never support them in a wrong decision or cover for wrongdoing on their part. A good gauge for this is, does this go against God's law? If it does, then even respect for your parents needs to be tempered by this consideration. Remember, if a parent is often making wrong and evil choices, our obligation is to respect them personally, but not to respect their evil choices. Those are the boundaries of parental respect. Next time... The second obligation that children have to parents, obedience. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.